expat arguments is there an upside I, I suppose it doesn't just fit into the expat stuff uh, it's generally throughout life because if there's no positive outcome there's no real point in pursuing it what I mean is if you say you had an issue with your previous employer um, having rants online and things like that will not really make any difference to the company in the same way expats arguing over stuff it, it often just looks childlike um, so even if there was anything that was actually genuine or value it, it becomes watered down after the, the childish bickering goes on so a simple thing I just ask people is is there an upside if there's no upside then there's no point to it you know if, if you're going to turn around and go right uh, this restaurant's really really bad um, I've been seven times and it's been really bad then that's fine if you can there's other people actually say yeah I agree with you but if you get 12 people turn around and say well no the food there's fantastic um, I've seen you arguing with the waiter blah 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 then you've got a different scenario because it's going to uh, fire back on you so you have to think about these things um, because there's no no benefit to it and whatever is driving you to be argumentative in the first place that may be actually taken over from the whole point of the thing I'll move out because I want to take some photos for a wedding behind me um, but the the point being is if there is no benefit to it what's the point of doing it um, it's destructive I mean the recent things that have been going on on YouTube between several well multiple people because it's not just two or three people I know of at least six people that have been involved in various arguments um, and let's be honest all of it very very trivial and childish um, but there's more important things if you want to argue about something lobby your MP or something <sighs> yeah, it doesn't solve what, the world's problems um, but often it's either made up or you find that somebody finds things that you don't want them to find myself I'm pretty easy to find on the internet I always have been I'm an open book on everything I do um, you can go back to 2008 and you can see things develop over that time period if you go through the blog a lot of the photos are missing not because they're uh, hidden away or something they're actually just uh, a problem with all the links the photos do exist a lot of them can actually be found on the same server but they actually where well, they actually have the photo link tropicalpenpals.com slash da 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 that's changed the same as the the dates have changed because they've moved from one server to another so they're in a completely different location they're on the uh, cbuxpat.com but the dates and everything are different because they've they're being reloaded um, so but if you knew the photo names and how to search through with google you can find most of them anyway but that's the point the most of these things are so negative and destructive yet there's no upside to it um, pointless simple as that but I just thought I'd put that video out here today just to say to some people look I don't really care what you say about this or that if you're going to do something construct it with facts not stories um, but in the same way I am not going to invest time in you um, and I recommend other people don't waste their time on each other put the same effort into something a lot more positive there's, there's plenty of things out there that are in the, on the positive side um, I know like Peter at the moment Peter's looking pretty bad um, but even with him I'm I'm not I'm taking zero interest in the, the only time I hear from him is when somebody says have you seen this and then you go oh okay and then <laughs> you just move on there's no point engaging with people with a lot of negativity in their life there's something else driving it most of the time um, yeah it's as simple as that thanks for listening